Three kings from the A little time after, wise men from the east arrived in Jerusalem looking for the newborn king. They had observed a star in the eastern sky that had signaled the birth of Jesus and they had come to worship him. Realizing that they were in the wrong place, they continued to follow the star until it hovered over the dwelling of the child. They could hardly contain themselves. They were in the right place. They had arrived at the right time. They entered the house and they saw the child in the arms of Mary, his mother. Overcome, they knelt and worshipped him. Then they opened their luggage and presented gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. Well, um, a little bit like the wise men, I set out on one journey, expecting to get to a certain place, but the journey took more twists and turns than I ever expected it to. I set out with every intention of becoming a history teacher for uh, sixth formers and secondary school children and got a place at university, wanted to go to Manchester so I could be near my football team and then, um, and then I failed all my A-levels and I had to change tack and Jeff Morris said to me, why, why do you want to be a secondary school teacher? I think you'd be better in primary and I was really cross with him at the time because that was the path I'd chosen and nobody would got the right to say to me that that shouldn't be the path to take. But then I thought about it and I thought, did I really want to be teaching mardy, moody teenagers like myself or would I prefer to be with children who are a little bit more enthusiastic about their learning? And I went to David Banks' school and I spent the whole year at David Banks' school doing work experience, two afternoons a week and I loved it. And so I changed path and I went to Crew and Old Sager. I took my A-levels again, but I didn't need to because um, I'd already got the minimum, re minimum requirement to get into college. And the rest, as they say, is history. When I think about the story of the Magi and their travels, you read about it in um, T.S. Eliot, for instance, The Coming of the Magi. But it's travelling to unknown places. My parents were missionaries in India, and I've always had this feel that I felt I should do something along similar lines. So when I finished my medical training, before I settled down in, into a regular full-time job, I thought I would try it out somewhere. And cut a long story short, we went out to the West Indies to the little island of Montserrat. I had no idea what it was going to be like. I had no idea what the place would be like, what the job would be like or anything. When I got there, it wasn't exactly a mud hut in the middle of the jungle, but it was certainly a very ancient wooden construction of a hospital with wooden tiles on the roof. There was one doctor in the hospital who did 
everything, and I mean everything, the surgery, all the medical work, the obstetrics, the gynaecology, the paediatrics, pa and everything in the hospital. We had two district medical officers, myself and another guy, who did clinics around the island. But the thing is that we had very little reference upwards. Here in Britain, uh, you go to see your GP and if there's anything serious, you're referred to the, the hospital. Out in Montserrat, if there was something happening, it was you had to deal with it. The time out there, though, was one of the most rewarding experiences. And I feel it it's, uh, stood me in good stead when eventually we came home. <laughs>